Hello friends, so today in this video, we're going to discuss a problem from lead code problem name reorder data in log file. So this was a problem asked by one of the subscribers he actually mentioned in the comment box. So I'm actually making a video on this. It's not too difficult problem as you can see it's a easy problem and the, uh, the good to bad ratio is also not too good. But as you can see, it just demand you to like divide the input statement or input string into the value which we want okay so how we can parse out the string okay so i am just using c++ to do that you have to like logically think that what part of the string i want to extract out what part i do not extract out according to which part i want to sort and append which and how we can recombine it to find out the final answer so that's the main question the main problem which this problem demands so if you can solve this problem out you can easily skip this video out so else you can easily understand how to think over such type problem and how to pass the string so the problem is just giving you that you are given two types of logs okay log means that as you can see in this they are different string which is given to you and you have to divide the string or actually sort the strings into some particular order the order should be as you can see every log is consisting of a string the first few characters okay will tell you actually what the type of the string is if all the characters are integer then it is a digit type of also it is not mentioned that the that this is digit only as you can see it is it can be a1 and g1 anything else but the main differentiation is after the first word like after the first uh, word you can say after the first word every ca every like every word if it is a number then the whole string is of the digit log and after the first word this is the first word if all the other words are somewhat strings okay then or like some other words of some lower case uh, alphabets then it is of the letter string letter log so there are two types of log digit logs and letter logs okay so it means that it consisting of all the digits it consisting of only the smaller case alphabets to form different words now you have to sort these strings out now the sorting is actually reorder these logs according to the given rules the first rule is the letter logs come before the digit logs so you have to first put all the letter logs as you can see the letter logs and then the digit logs are there the letter logs should be sorted lexographically by their content so you have to first like pass out the first half like this half and just take out all the only the part which is of the letter like letter log all the part which is not consisting of the first word as you can see only this part or this part and so on and the like the first part is you have to parse it out and if it is of letter log then you have to lexicographically sort it according to according to the content it, it has and if it is a digit log then you have to maintain the relative ordering which means that you don't have to sort it out you just if whatever uh, digit logs are there you just have to print out in the same manner so this is the first digit log this is the second digit log so you just print out in the same manner after the letter logs so you just have to find out the final reorder so now what you can simply do in this problem is what i actually did here is you first find out so you have to first extract out the this part okay and then all the rest of the part okay so how you can think over this is because you do not know that the first part can be anything okay the first part can be anything but it is only up to the first space this is the first key point you can observe that before the first space whatever is there will determine what is the log type and the all the rest of the string if the rest of the string is characters like as you can see if it is a character because if it consists of any number then it is of digit digit log if it consists of any characters then it is of a letter log so you first extract out from the string till the first space you just extract out this part from every uh, sentence and then what you can do here is you find now you will get two sentences from every sentence two parts first part is this which is like some sort of word and the other part is consisting of what type of data is there in each sentence or each log okay then if it is of the digit log then you can maintain two string type so i have vectors of two type letter log and digit log okay so if it is of digit log then i will make a pair and push that so the first part it because i want to sort the letter logs according to its content 
so i will first parse them out into the content and the first part then i will store this into the letter log this is the string like vectors and then sort them out and then we just do the same thing in the reverse order and just print out also for the digit log you don't have to do this thing i just write down the code for more simplicity but only for the letter log you have to sort them out so in the digit log you don't have to just do anything if you find out that this is a digit log just push that into the in some vector and then you can print out in the easily in the id so i just iterate over each log okay and just make two empty strings s and t which actually uh, denotes the first part and the second part in which we were pass then this is the boolean variable flag which will tell you that i have encountered the first space or not because before the first space you will uh, take the part in the first half and after that you will put the part in the second half so we iterate over the whole log which is this i and if it is a so if the i like the jth character in this particular string is a space and my log is false which means that i haven't seen a, a space before so i will make my log equal or like my flag equal to true because i have seen the first space and then we don't have to see the space again else if the flag is false we will add into the first a uh, string or or else in the second string it is just making two different strings so in the s string you will store out this part before the first space and in the second t string it is storing out all the parts apart after this first space i hope you get the point and then now we have two strings now how we can tell that whether this string or like the two parts we have extracted out are of the letter log or the digit log we can we can just check it with the first character of the second half because this is the second half this is the first half the second half first character if it is a letter then it is of the letter half like letter log and if it is a digit we will push them in a digit log so that's what we are going to do we're going to push them and as you can see we're going to push them in a reverse order so the second half because we want to sort the letter half according to the content the content is in t so we're going to push them in this vector T and S in the reverse order, so that we can just easily sort them out. Now, because after this sorting, the letter logs are sorted according to the content. Now, now we're gonna just uh, answer them or like put them into the final vector and just make this again. So we will first, as you can see, we will first put the letter logs. So we will iterate over the letter logs, and also they are sorted. So before pushing them into the answer, we will again. Uh, like reverse them out so the we will again join them out so the first part is s and the second part is t so we will reverse them and join them because the space is deleted so we will put the first the second half the space and the first half which is actually the original string so we will do the same thing for the let, letter log and the digit log and then just return our answer i hope you understand the logic and the code part for this problem it is not too difficult you just have to understand how we can extract out parts out because the first space will tell you at which point we have to break then we have to sort it according to the content of the letter log so that's what we're going to do and then we just print out the same thing because we haven't checked i haven't uh, like touched the digit log so that that's how we do not change the order of the digit log so it is in the same order but the letter log order is changed so we just print out that because we have sorted them out so it is uh, sorted now and we just print out the letter log first and the digit log after that and just we just print out the answer victor So this is the code for this problem. If you still have doubts, you can mention out. I'll see you soon. Till then, keep coding and bye.